This is going to be a lot of sunshine today. We'll need it to warm things up. It's 26 in Denton. McKenna, you're at 28. Terrell, you're at 28 degrees as well. Graham, 27. We're seeing upper 30s across most of the Metroplex locations. So there's some of the smaller towns and cities that are also in the 20s this morning. But the hour by hour forecast shows that by the time we get to the noon hour, everybody out of services, we're in the mid 60s. So right there, we're warmer than we were yesterday. We have a west southwest wind. It'll pick up a little across the afternoon, but temperatures should get into the low 70s. So this is going to be a much warmer day, a warmer day than it was yesterday by about 10 degrees, I should say. But satellite radar review, uh, no cloud cover right now. But we do have some headed our way. It's some high, thin clouds that will come in through the overnight hours. That will help hold up the temperature. So we're talking about tomorrow morning, the lows. Uh, most locations will stay in the low 40s. Uh, but this high cloud cover will be with us most of the day tomorrow as well. But temperatures will still be warmer than they'll be today. And today is near perfect. I mean, most of the time, you ask people what the perfect temperature is. Most studies say between 71 and 73 degrees, and that's exactly where we'll be this afternoon. Now, because of the wind, we have a little fire danger. More on that in just a second. But like I said, we'll, we'll have some cloud cover around, not showing up here in the model. So temperatures will start in the 40s, and we end up into the mid 70s. Right up here, you see this other front. This front comes through during the night, tomorrow night, Monday night. And then on Tuesday, it's, it's going to be cooler. We'll be in the upper 50s for a high on Tuesday. So you probably need that jacket for the day on Tuesday, but we're warming right back up. Okay, because of the extremely dry conditions we've been in of late, now that we're past the hard freeze over all of North Texas and the vegetation is really starting to dry out now for winter, we have elevated fire threat. We have winds out of the west 10 to 15. The humidity is extremely low, 10 to 25 percent. This is really dry air in place. These uh, winds pick up, and you're just going to have to be careful out there. Avoid outside burning or welding, and don't toss your cigarette butts outside. In fact, don't smoke. Okay, in rain chances week ahead. Dry conditions from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, there is no rain in the forecast this work week. Look what's been going on since we got into September. Deficits of rainfall. I mean, every month, including so far here in December, we've had only about 44% of the normal rainfall we received since September 1st. And you could expect so this to happen. So in September, the start of September, there was no drought in the area. And look what's happened since then. Here we are now into the first week and starting the second week in December. And we're into severe drought across Wise, parts of Jack and Kaufman counties. It's a moderate drought around the Metroplex. And like I said, no rain in sight. Even though we do have a couple of cold fronts coming through, there's Tuesday in the 50s. And we're right back in the 70s Wednesday before another front arrives. With these fronts only giving us some cloud cover, we'll be in the 70s again by Saturday.